Of course. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. Garrett, I think we should lock up there. He's gonna make me a rich man one day. And we soon the shit out of everyone. Come on in, come on in, everyone. Gather round. Jesus. <laughs> like three times. Arthur, you're a criminal. Right, folks. How are we all doing today? Who we got here? My name is Fort Riker. I too am a criminal. My name's Tommy Nago, but I wouldn't cl class myself as a criminal. More just like a crazy man around town. Pussy. Come on, did you get out of jail? <laughs> yeah. Bruh, you're all wondering why the hell am I calling for a meeting with all these folk? Truth is, I want to discuss New Austin as a whole. How many of you uh, are aware of yesterday's uh, actions by the marshals over in Armadillo? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about it. Enlighten us. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Someone was there. Do they care to enlighten us? Uh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I might as well do it, I guess. So. Juju came into town and told me that Law Posse was coming down to pick me up on account of charges in Rhodes. And I believe a Deputy Marshal Anson is his name, led by a Rhodes deputy, came into Armadillo, and proceeded to say no guarantees of any sort of reductions or anything that she could, you know, used to negotiate she just said that i was to come in and it was that simple and then a shootout erupted and they shot us all down i don't know what happened to a couple of us some of us got out but they shot us all down picked us up got us to blackwater and didn't even check on a single soul inside of that town yonko if he was here he'd be able to attest to that they don't give a shit about anybody's life we laid there before I got put under for surgery. And some scumbag, I don't know his name, called us all garbage on the ground. And I'm sick and tired of it, to be honest with you. I don't know how to get my HUD back. They was talking about are? letting y'all rot while you were dying. Oh. They're lovely. How many folks here have had, uh, Similar experiences with the law. There'll be a marsh or a local. I think everybody, everybody here. Everyone here? Yep. Before I get started. I, I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> wow. I am so sorry. Wow. sorry. Well, she, ha she has, she has to rinse. Don't mind her. She says. <laughs> It's fine. It's arm to red. It's fine. God damn. That was one hell of a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Before I get started, <laughs> is anyone here a Marshall spy? This is your one chance to leave peacefully. God, I really wanted to put my hand up there just for the thrill. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that might be the uh the bullet in your head. Yeah, what well, I'm thinking he said you get to leave, but I mean if, if anyone sticks around him, I'm definitely shooting him. How do I get my HUD back, chat? No oh. one. Nah, it looks like you're good, mister. It's a dollar. Bruh. I wanted to discuss a couple of topics here. First things first, new Austin. You've seen the law around here ain't really doing their job. 
It's not working. Ain't really a lot of local law. Marshals come every once in a blue moon. Whenever they do come, they just seek chaos. Havoc. I'm starting to get the idea the marshals don't really care for New Austin. Oh, I invited us folk here. Discuss a change. Chaser. We need to start upholding our own laws here. No more marshals, no more local law. Red line. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. You want to speak up so everyone else can hear you? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Red line, it sounds yeah. like. That's I like, right. I like that idea. Sounds good to me. What do you have in mind? Well, I am no leader here. I don't control these people, so I wanted to discuss with everyone here. How exactly is this going to be enforced? Mm. By us, the people. Can I say something? Of course. Oh, well, Coyote. I just returned from Mexico. Where, uh, as you see here, a lot. Well, pretty much the same happened. The people were tired and are tired of the government. And on a daily basis, they put their lives on the line to fight it. I want you to understand that for you to make this a lawless place, you will be entering into a conflict with the government itself, which means that they would have the ability to send the military. This could be seen as an uprising. I want you to be aware of that. I want everyone here to be aware of that before they make any more plans. It is one thing to deal with marshals. It will be another when the military starts being sent here. So think these carefully. And it is true that the marshals do not give a shit. And they will never give a shit about nobody here. They only care about their little people over in the east ones that they deem to be civilized. It's like Ford says, they want us to have colors, but we don't have them. So the only thing you do when a dog doesn't want to put a color, you know, you put him down. So that's what they want to do to us. But I don't know what are your plans, but this will be a big step from being just an outlaw to f something far more than that. Singer dollars. Like a small militia. That's what we would be. Precisely. Revolutionaries. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm all you for can't it. blame anybody but the marshals. <laughs> well. They bring it on themselves. Are you saying that any marshal that enters New Austin is uh, immediately to be turned around? Away from New Austin? Around Armadillo? Tumbleweed? Yeah. If I were up, oh well, apologize. No, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, if I were to offer up an idea, maybe not hostile on first eyesight, but it do not allow them to take anyone who comes down here. It's a tougher task than once imagined, but it's doable to keep them from getting folks. Someone, please enlighten me. When was the last time a marshal has come down to New Austin offering new things to us? Clean water, gun solver, now modello, things of that nature. Don't believe I can name a single time. Um, Only reason monsters come down here is to chew on their gum and shoot us down, bring us in. My, my Nothing else. Oh, well, if we put up a wall on them, they're gonna put up a wall on us. I was going to say my concern is uh, for my people in Blackwater already starting to get a large martial presence. If we start putting a red line in New Austin, they're going to start stocking up in Blackwater and uh, probably using that as their uh, as their red line and puts us in a situation. 
You would all have to get well accustomed and adjusted to the desert. Because that's where we be living. Hey. I've seen it happen in Thieves before. Hell, it tried to happen yesterday in New Austin. If we were cleaner about it, then it could have worked. But a marshal comes down and folks hear word that they riding into New Austin to grab someone. It's a simple and firm no from the town. Hey, uh, hold on. Before we continue, uh, I couldn't help but notice there's a person here named, uh, named Rat, who is a deputy out east. I was also thinking that. Wait, Rat, step forward. Wait, step forward. Better step forward now, buddy. All right. Do you have a last name, Rat? My real name's Kane Curian. Rob, how can we help you today? Oh. I'm yep. to no see what's this all about. He came to escort me down. I run the honesty cart. I bought everybody food. Yesterday I was robbed. I needed protection to bring you all food. Are you by law? I'm not exactly law. He's a friend. It's a tiny. You got anybody that can vouch for you food. besides water? I've been helping. I'll I've been vouch. guns to food. Yeah, I'll vouch. Yeah, me do. Been working with biscuit as well. I'll vouch for him. Yes, it People is. do know that if something that's discussed here is gonna escape, it's probably gonna fall upon him. Fair oh, enough. There you go. This is burden. All right. I mean, if this is something that's going to happen, they're going to know anyway. <laughs> yeah, ain't many secrets in this puddle. Uh, I'll tell you that. I have a question real quick. quick. Who is me? Oh, for Vidani. You said you wanted to get rid of local law. You're talking about sheriffs and deputies. Now, I, I'm I'm a little conflicted on that because if you're saying we all the law, we all watch out for each other, but I'm not the type that's gonna. It's good. It was forward. You you were saying? I'm not the type that's gonna uh, go over and stop a petty thief or grave robber, or try to woe someone's concerns about being robbed on the roads. Anyone else? I mean, it feels like uh, if we get rid of the local law, it's just going to be a, more problems in our hands. We have to look out for everyone. Means that's, already doing. that's solved by not robbing people out in New Austin. I mean, we can all agree to that right here, can't we? Yep. We ain't, there's more people in the five states than there are right here. Someone could uh, come in and do whatever the hell they want that ain't here right now. I agree with Biscuit right. on this one. Someone gets robbed down in New Austin. It ain't my concern. But I, you know. I don't... I don't think it'd be wise for us to form one giant militia that, that's just gonna see us all at the butt end of a marshal's gun. But... Forming a... Uh, 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 kind of an agreement that if you down in New Austin... And a marshal come into town to pick someone up, even just holding your gun in your hand. Six of them in a whole town holding guns. Uh, I mean, I, I like Donnie's idea. New Austin should be lawless, so to speak. We ain't got to enforce some made-up law of our own. We just got to make sure that no law comes down to get us. We need a safe space to break. I believe we've already established that, but I think it's going to be a stand on to stop it. I do also agree that creating a militia and trying to, Jesus Christ, Damn. trying to fight uh -huh. the entire government is not exactly easy task and definitely a fucking suicide. But, as was said, making Austin lawless, when everyone here stands together with this principle of not letting those fucking badges come down here and do whatever they please. We have to make them feel not welcome. They have to feel scared when they come down here. 
if to feel paranoid. Because creating a f fucking militia with, well, how many is there? Maybe 20 of us? Maybe more. Maybe. They're, they're gonna do what? The army is gonna waltz down here with the cavalry, gathering guns, wagons. They're just gonna fucking kill us all. Maybe day, maybe two. Well, if I may, I know I'm a fresh face around here, but we could put a time limit on it. 72 hours, we see how it works out. Reconvene after that. If things are going sideways, we come up with a new plan. All I'm trying to say is that there is a difference between wanting to fight for a land, an ideal, and there is another thing to wanting to make a lawless place. If you want to be a revolutionary, then put the mother, go to Mexico, they need people like that. As far as I know, this is a place of outlaws. It's not a place for people to fight for freedom or land. I would say that, I mean, fuck, in the early stages where it was only just myself, Biscuit, Murphy here, we, uh, we had agreements that were made. Perhaps those agreements can be extended to other people. You know, if uh, you get captured and people are uh, bringing you to, I guess, Sisica, perhaps a group of people from New Austin could rile up, get together, and try to break free the individual that is going to Sisica. You can do things like that, but creating a militia, that is, that is suicide. Getting rid of local law, that is suicide as well. Just think about all of those things. Like I said, going after an entire government, it's very different than going after a couple of marshals. And yeah. that is what you would do if you choose to actually remove local law and things of this nature. Here's a question for everyone. How do we all make the law? The marshals understand that New Austin isn't a place for them. What steps do we take? You see, the marshals are pretty much the issue. But, uh, I'm just going quickly before this. We can ourselves fill up the positions of the town law, normally low and tumbly. They will fix the problem of, uh, of the local law problem, as was mentioned here. To try to focus on the marshals themselves and badges coming from the east when you think about it. I think we got some local law with us, don't we? Honorable yes. heroes? Hey, yes, you do. I guess I didn't mention that, did I? <laughs> no, no. Would you like to? Yeah, uh, I'm a deputy down in Armadillo on the Miss Sox. As that's in, uh, that's my west, boys. Because out west, deputy is uh, a little bit loose. I had uh, requested for Sox to be here. But she, uh, unfortunately chose to stay on the ridge and watch the marshals come down here and gun us all down for her own entertainment. So she will not be joining us today. You asked the... Uh, oh, sorry. I think the best thing that can come out of this meeting is just getting to know each other, network with each other, and whatever jobs we have, like building policies. Not just forming a militia, which... Me personally, I don't think it's the smartest thing, but at least we should at least get to know if we can work with each other first. Yeah, I like the idea of us all working together to help each other when uh, people go down or something. That's a good idea, you know. One of us sees something, we all see something. Pass it on. We could also start setting some uh, ground rules if there's a conflict between us as well. Yeah. If there's conflict between us, I'd hope that... Uh... We could talk about it here, but it's not always gonna be like that. All right, kill or be killed. Who's to say? We can pick a saloon. Pick a little saloon that if anybody looking for work, you can probably find folks around there. Like sounds like it's gonna be armadillo. It sounds yeah, like I mean, that's what it already is an yeah, armadillo. Armadillo already is that. Uh, find a possible. The armadillo saloon is never open. How am I supposed to get drunk there? 
Definitely isn't anything there. Feels like, like to iron me. How about that? John Oscar. But Don, earlier you uh, you asked how we could uh, uh get the marshals to feel unwelcome here. That's right. Hey, I mean, it, it, truthfully, it is as easy as having a presence, uh, holding a gun. Most marshals are little pussies. I uh, ain't brave enough when they see a large crowd of folks. Hey, yesterday they tried on us because they only saw him. But if uh, Marshal rides in, folks just have a long arm on their back and they just hold it in their hand. It's New Austin's law. Uh, it's up to Warren and Sykes' sheriff department whether they want to let guns in town. Marshals can't say nothing. Yeah, give the sense that they outnumbered when they come down here. That'll scare them off. But it won't be enough of a reason to bring the army in. Let's go Think burn so. down Fort Mercer. I agree. Yeah, yeah burn down Fort shoot. Mercer. That's a quick way to get the army in here. Uh, we'll burn down when there's Fort a Mercer. shootout in a town, have people stationed and not let them fucking leave New Austin. We'll cover one of the fucking exits and make them feel like they're being watched when they come down here. Hmm. Awesome biscuit, if you want to do that Fort Mercer job, hey, you put on a mask, I'll do it with you if it got guns. Uh, yeah, keep all them, uh, all it's a quick way to get the army down here. <laughs> yeah, probably. 100%. I'm a little teasing. I'm a little drunk. But I want to discuss the next topic. Mr. Brody King, I invited you here yesterday, Sorry. was it? Yep. You have business, Adam? Yeah, Blackwater is where, uh, where we live right now. Um... As you know, most folk here are from New Austin, and when we need money, we mask up and we ride out east. East to us is Blackwater. Blackwater, Valentine Road, St. Denis, Ennsburg, Van Horn. That is east for us. Past McFarland's Ranch, past Thieves Landing. So, let us understand what kind of business are you running, and if that is your own business, then I don't have to disclose. No, I don't mind at all. Basically, uh, like I said before, I'm Brody King. Uh, my boys and girl um, mainly reside in Blackwater. I'll be honest, what we're doing right now is uh, trying to uh, get access to the distillery. Uh, we're currently in discussions with the mayor there and uh, potentially run some some harder liquor under the you know uh, under the table. Um, once that happens, uh, what we've discussed is trying to, uh, help supply, uh, any of the saloons and stuff like that. That's our front. I'm just going to straight up say it. Other than that, I got a lot of boys, like you said, uh, we're hitting these pretty hard. We did last night, did the night before as well. Um, I don't have an issue. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not claiming Blackwater is my, you know, my town or anything. So, uh you all want to come in and do your business that's fine we'll just uh do the best you can to keep out for look out for any of our boys who are in uh you know black and gray uh, they'll walk out if any of you uh come in and try to hold the place up they'll walk out like nothing happened uh, it's a pleasure to meet you mr king i'd like to make a statement maybe this you know if i can clear something up real quick uh -huh. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, girl. Uh, all right, folks, I know most of you. I've probably done jobs with most of you, ridden around with most of you. Uh, and I'll concede to the thought that New Austin is a lovely place. So, yeah, no robbing out here is my rule. But that's just because I don't want to be wanted out here. You got to pick one spot the folks like you, and right? But I want to say peace of mind. To maybe some folks who are having this thought but just won't want to say it. As far as I'm concerned, we associates, but we ain't friends. Your family, if they, if they out there outside of New Austin, I'll rob them. I'll take what they got. Your, your wife, your your best friend, hell, if you know anybody out in New Austin, they fair game, or outside of New Austin, I should say. Let's not take this as, 
some shit where we all agreeing that we friends and we peaceful with each other. We ain't gonna rob each other. That just ain't how it work out here in America. We just agreeing not to let the marshals toss us in a cell. Agreed. Mm-hmm. All right, good, because I need to make money and some of you bastards rich, so. <clears throat> yes. Oh, my God, I go. Yeah. And maybe we should uh, tell some of them marshals and deputies about that because they seem to take shit way too personal. Yeah, you should try to take a badge off one of them. They get real mad. Oh, I got one. Already got seven. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, some some bitch was looking to buy a bed. Uh, anybody looking to pick up a little bed? Fifty bucks. I'll sell it for fifty bucks. Yeah. Marshall bed. I like to keep them in a little bit. Tried to get Before one off. Uh, off topic, you. Now, as you know, there's civilians out there that uh, have very loose lips or rat us out in a moment's notice. This is why. I want to introduce a bounty board just for us. Me and Biscuit did it in the past with a, what was the name again? Taisley Chalker or something like that. Taisley Parker. That's right. Go up ahead, put up a nice poster, description, name, reasoning, if you want. Folks like us can go out looking for them. Granted, it's going to be a little bit harder. But I imagine the pay is going to be a whole lot better. Uh, uh, probably hang something like that up at uh, one of these little spots. Fuck here, man. A bad idea. Hanging up in a town and deputies are gonna get wise and warn the person, put him in the hiding. Why not go to Twin Rocks? It's a place that, uh. Only Rocks is good. Twin Most Rocks is here. good, but yesterday, I don't know if they were just trying to, like, get a rise out of us or something, but one of them marshals was talking about going to Twin Rocks and staying out there. You know what? They're a spot. Uh, there's a spot, uh, west of Benedict Point. A little hole in the ground. Most of you folks ain't pussies, so go to a town, punch a son of a bitch, and get you a bounty. But you can unlock the door in that hole in the ground in a small little room. What that shit called again, Juju? Oh, Solomon's Omni. Yeah, Solomon's hole in the ground. I don't fucking know. Put it out there. A single door lead in in a room with a little mat on the ground, a bunch of boozes. You got yourself a bounty, that's probably the smartest spot to put it. Something else I want to discuss. You know, before we go there, you know, there's these hideouts where they only let you if you're if you show them your bounty poster, if you have that special piece of fucking paper that says, Oh, look at that. Outlaw and shit. And not just put those uh, bounties into every single hideout like that. It's scattered all across the place. Yeah, Instead of just one place. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. There's a bunch of them. In all five states. There's a few marshals and law that have those uh, outlaw passes as well, though. Of course they fucking do. What? Do do? The risk of sounding like a psychopath. Why don't we just stick it in the town and let them shit the pants? I mean, yeah, like, what's the point of trying to hide it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The hide the person we're looking for. That's not the every, But not every person gonna be that high up on their list to go hide them. Like, they wanted them. Maybe. Gotta, I guess we're, we're just, gotta just gonna... I guess we're just gonna have to fill the bounty border with, like, 20 fucking 30 people. They can't hide all of them. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Something else I wanted to discuss. Mr. Solomon Graves is our only gunsmith out here. He's working hard to supply all of New Austin with bullets, express rounds, our guns. This folk down here need to help him out. He's one man supplying the whole state. If he needs miners, then we'll give him miners. If he needs money, we'll give him money. He's an old man. 
I don't no, want him. That. I like Solomon. Mm -hmm. I don't want him working himself to the grave. Well. We're going to help him get stocked up. We spoke with him a few days ago. Perfect. And if you're going to go against the marshal, you're going to need the bullets that he can provide. Damn right. Yeah, they need to make sure he can cocaine make cum, That cocaine gum is something else, let me tell y'all. <laughs> need those express rounds. We, leave, we need all these businesses to step up. They step up, then we should step up as well to help them out. I wish we had more business owners here. I know we have the owner of the Tumbleweed Saloon here. Howdy. If there's any way I can help out, let me know. You guys need something in that saloon that you can't get somewhere else. I was trying to organize something where I could sell things that only outlaws could find in that saloon. If you know what I mean. Go on bananas. Go on more bananas. Mmm. Oh, I love bananas. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Oh, Cleo, you didn't know that potassium is just like cocaine. Take a bite of a gourmet banana and you're unkillable. You get a damn right. Uh, that's what I've been told. You're, you're real? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it costs $169. No, it ain't real, god damn it. it <laughs> potassium? <laughs> Hello? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not $169. It's like yeah, I bought them all. Are you insane? <laughs> you mean dollars It must be worth something, right? Right. So... We discussed the marshals, our plans, we discussed the bounty board, and now we're discussing the businesses. Is there anything else that we should discuss here while we're all um, here? Do we have medical assistance that we are close to? Is there anyone here that has any practice on that? Yeah, we need a doctor down here. I don't think because we have we're one. we're going to need that. Yeah, we're going to make, something. we're going to have to make friends with medical assistance. How much do you think it costs to buy a doctor? How much do you think they... <laughs> If I give them like a thousand dollars, you think they'll just move on down here? I don't want to be you just learn to do it. Well, well I'm one of us is uh, down in Armadillo. Right. She works in the saloon. Her name is Mag. She's uh, working on getting her uh, doctor and skills up right now. Yeah, Abigail next to me, she can provide tonics and things of the sort. That's about as far as we can go right yeah, now. Yeah, Yonko mm -hmm. as well in uh, Armadillo. He's, he's good people too. I'll be looking for someone. Oh, go ahead. But they can definitely. The tonics are, are a beautiful thing for sure, but they can only take you so far. Right. Mm. We need a we need an actual doctor. Well. Yeah, yeah folk, just ask around, see if any doctors want to move to New Austin. And a good doctor too, not to like the one in Blackwater who blows a whistle in your ass and calls it a day. All right. A real one. Don't now, unfortunately. He's the one that oh. me. Don't say that. Do the doctors in Blackwater don't like us I feel like there's more to that story. People <laughs> wouldn't you ask? Yeah. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't on me. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying now. I've seen him blow a whistle in someone's ass and then send him on his way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Is there anything else? So we got doctors. <laughs> well, after the shootout yesterday, one Miss Emmy came down to Armadillo to help out, help out Sasha. Perhaps Miss Emmy would be interested. She's my sister. She might be able to do it, but I want everyone here to be aware of that. I told her that she ain't going to be losing her license. And helping criminals. Wanted criminals. It's a good way of losing her license. So, think twice before you get yourself shot. And maybe she will help. If you are a dumbass and you think you can take an entire army of marshals by yourself, then lo siento, compadre. I'm bringing my sister to you. But let's be in the circumstances. If I'm sure that she wouldn't mind helping, he's all for helping people and all of that. Coyote brings a good point. Um we we can help but we can only help so much if you're being a fucking idiot there's so much we can do so you need to be competent enough that what you're going to do it makes sense to every single one of us i say yeah, maybe it's just me i say help starts and ends if a marshal is trying to take you away 
Deputies, that's your problem. If you consider yourself an outlaw, you better be a good enough gun to shoot down a goddamn deputy. But a marshal, I can understand why that'd be tougher. Mm -hmm. Hey, for me, I don't know what about everybody else here in this crowd. But again, we ain't a militia. We show too much allegiance to each other, and that's what we're going to come off like. So uh, mm -hmm. I say help starts and ends when a marshal rides into town. Then you just hold your gun in your hand. Fuck, if you want to shoot for them, shoot for them. But that ain't a requirement. Shouldn't be. I think it's a good point. Hey, most of you got your own crews, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Good. Yep. Hey, you can spot each other's backs. A marshal there, that a different beast. Trust me, fucking us over here have dealt with them a handful of times. Goddamn, barely make it out alive each time. So that's where it starts and stops as marshals. He is right. Well, there's one that lives right in Tumbleweed Hotel. A marshal. <clears throat> yep, leaves Whoa. leaves Tumbleweed every morning, heads over to Blackwater or whatever. He said he's the marshal in New Austin. But he always strong. Is that Wait, his name? You're telling me that's where Armstrong sleeps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Mustache. That's Thank what I'm telling you. Yep. That's, 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 that's yep, the mustache. Down. That's him. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much for that. Now I know. Every other chance are carving signs into the walls. Another one. I'm signs just for him. Go oh, right. ahead and tell him Crane's coming. There's one more. Dog shit on there. There's one more. Drummond from uh, Blackwater came out of. Fuck that guy. He came out of the Tumbleweed Hotel this morning as well, and he saw me and got out of Dodge because uh, he beat my ass yesterday with one of his deputies. So uh, as soon as he saw me, he took off. Yeah, they've been starting to pile up in Blackwater. I mean, on, on the past few days, I've seen six or seven of them just constantly walking around. I think the law is already aware they can't come down to New Austin. I think they'll learn it's going to get harder and harder for them if we... <laughs> if we make sure that uh, marshals don't feel welcome, uh, deputies can't come down here without them marshals. So, when you see a marshal ride down to New Austin, if you hear, they ask about picking somebody up. Hell, if you getting picked up, uh, I've done this before with Cuyo and Joaquin. You remember in Valentine, I just shouted for you, told you a bounty hunter was mm -hmm. coming to collect me. You just pull your gun out. That's about it. That's all you gotta do. Well, like you said earlier, I'm not interested in making friends either, more or less making good business. But uh, we'll definitely have the courtesy if uh, we start seeing them or having our ears on the ground and we, we hear that they're coming down here, we'll definitely send a rider. That's all you that, need to do. That's mighty kind. Real quick. Rat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a uh, lawman? Uh... Probably two weeks now. And the reason that you're here in this meeting is because you care for the folks here. Or am I mistaken? No. Mistaken? No. I care about Juju. I care about food, biscuit, coyote. But it sounds like you're on the wrong Kyo. side, is what it sounds like to me. Uh, well. I used to be in the Saints in the San Denis. I've done all sorts of shit. The fuck is that? Yeah, the only... They were a gang that uh, worked in Saint. We uh, oh. did train robberies, all sorts like that. The only reason I'm law is because I did work for the previous law in Ansberg. We killed the foreman and burnt their. Uh, contracts so that they could get to the sheriff and under sheriff they hired me as a deputy and then i took over as a sheriff after when they left do you also care for the marshals not really oh. if you got word that the marshals were heading down to new Austin, i did something you'd be able to tell us oh, i have done it before I think it was, <laughs> I believe it was for Biscuit or someone like that. Uh, I can't remember. They was after someone and I was updating them where they was. Huh? Wasn't it you? 
I was showing her now, someone came up right behind me and stoned me. What were you talking about? Saying, wasn't it you I was warning when the marshals were trying to look for you? Oh, yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. Alright. The marshals play dirty, I really don't see why we can't play dirty either. Like, with Rat around, we have eyes and information. Is that Ralph? Yeah. And the Kuyo's point. With Ralph, or with, sorry, I heard Ralph. Ralph. With Rat, I heard, I heard Coyote shout, is that Ralph? <laughs> with Rat around, well, some of us who ain't lucky enough to talk to a lawyer or have any civilian folks go and talk to Laman for us, we can just ask Rad what we want it for. If we federally want it, if we want it in town, things like that. Good to have a deputy on our side. At least Spe one. Speaking of lawyers, do we have any, uh, you know, we the people loving lawyers who would be interested in uh, if things did get to a crazy point, they could handle things on the, uh, the legal end. Yeah, I don't know about everybody else here, but some I'm asshole die really Some asshole spreading his I was gonna say, and say all I'm, over the place. Yeah, I'd rather not be uh, walking into a courtroom, but if you know, yeah, I'll die before I go to court. Oh, know. plan to have these kinds of meetings every month, but as you all heard, I'm probably one of the most wanted individuals in all the five states. I don't know if I'm gonna be here next month. Marshals are starting to push more and more. Eventually, my time's gonna run up. I'm gonna get caught. Whether I'm um, put up in the gallows and shot dead, stuck beyond the physical walls, I would appreciate it if this continued on without me. Don't have to be no one special to host it. I feel like we need this, these kinds of meetings. Discuss problems, figure out solutions, next steps for New Austin. <clears throat> it's better than senseless war. Speaking of senseless war, if a gang comes down here causing trouble, Heard of the what was that one gang way back then? Ballads. Ballads. And now it's the Coles. Yeah. Coles. We shouldn't. Go ahead, Missy. Well, what's this about the Coles? What are they doing? They don't ride down here, as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Oh, they was just here the other day. Yeah, they rode down oh, here twice. I missed it, huh? Yeah, they're a little upset that I shot Kane through his cheek. Is that why they? Is that why they coming down here? All right. Well, they come and ride by. I'm not too sure why. Cause when they do come ride by, they don't do anything. At least they're not pussy. <laughs> that a girl. All right, you carry on. Carry on, daughter. You mean the long dogs? Yeah. Yeah, they extend an cool. extension of the road sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. Really. Essentially, no, they, really, they, yeah. they ride out in there because they can't. He ride us out right to the law after I shot him. R how? H how? How? <laughs> how? <laughs> how? Ooh. Okay. Sorry. For gangs like this, ones that come down and cause trouble. This might sound a little weird, but I don't think all of New Austin should gang up on this one gang. There should only be one gang. Yeah, I agree. Whoever they fuck with, that's your problem. Yeah, Sounds good to me. The conflict should just stop with the group that's actually been attacked. Members of that one group. I think that should stand with all of us, to be honest. Yeah. Even if it's between each other. Yeah, yeah well, we, we handle our own, don't we? But uh, it's, it's nice to know that if the law is coming for each and every one of us, we've got some kind of fundamental backbone between us that says... Mm. Yeah. We, 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 we join when we need to. That's all we're asking to believe. Not a, not if it's a law. Coming. Yeah, exactly. If it's law, we all come together. If it's some gang on gang violence, you deal with it. I'll come together for a marshal. I ain't gonna come together for a deputy. I'm gonna say that. I mean, I but think... if there is a posse that I, I know people here, some people here are alone. So if there is a posse that you want to be part of whatever they want, that is your choice. Hmm. 
Should we do uh, something similar with the bounty board, but for the people that are alone, a board up their name, looking for work, and the PO number? Yeah, I mean, if you is alone, I don't see many stragglers around here, but if you is alone, you're looking for work, you're looking for a way to make money, maybe find a posse, just... Head to Austin, head to, head to the saloon. Maybe go to the Thieves' Landing Cantina. Fuck, I'm there half the time. You can bump into someone. Don't be a stranger. New Austin is very welcoming. Just be around and you'll get picked up, really. Well, yeah, I've, I feel like I've picked up half the fucking county just brought strangers in to go rob people with me. And this goes for the other gangs as well. Try not to turn away folk looking for work. It's hard for us, all of us, especially the newer ones. Right. Is there anything yeah. else we'd like to discuss? Yeah, I'd like to say one thing. Mm. I own the Tumbleweed Saloon down there, and it's a place for outlaws. What I mean, Tab can go ahead and actually vouch for this. If you ever I have... If you ever... Uh, I don't think Armstrong is that bad. I think we should let him join the Del Lobos. What the name? fuck up, Ralph. Yeah, I'm Ralph. sorry, but keep I'm not letting him keep his throat. Kick his ass. Ralph, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not letting him keep his throat. Sorry. Wayne was talking, Dane. All right. So, if you need to have a meeting down there with another group that you're, uh, you know, might be shooting up, the Tumbleweed Saloon is a safe place for you to have that meeting. Y your leaders can meet up in the poker room one on one. We'll shut down the saloon. Me and my man will make sure nobody goes in and out. And uh, you and your posses could just sit outside staring at each other. No shots will be fired within the saloon. Like I said, Tab over there can vouch for that. I set him up with a meeting. He came out safe and sound. Ain't that right, Tab? That's right. I know it would be good to have somewhere to discuss, you know, but perhaps warfare with each other before we get into it if we have got a common enemy. Yep. And that's what I want that saloon to be. Right there. Number eight saloon. Is a place where you can go to have your meetings, a neutral ground. If that is disrespected, then what? What shall we do? If that's disrespected, if someone wants to draw and shoot somebody, kill somebody in that saloon during a sacred meeting like that, a bounty for a thousand dollars goes on that man's head, and every outlaw from here to Saint Denis can get it. That is it. She now I'm hoping somebody breaks the rule. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. It's the fault. I'll shoot you in the leg. Then you just me. We get a grand. We'll split it. Perfect. Oh, shut up, goddamn it! Right. <laughs> Jesus. Do we have any uh, business owners here that wanna advertise their businesses? Anyone at all? The canteen, the Tumbleweed Saloon, Blackwater. Anyone? You really know I on that. It's all good. Here comes Walter. Here comes Walter. Here he comes. Hey. Hey. Oh. hey. Uh, you all wonder why I'm here. I really just came down to make sure everybody was fed. So uh, after this, I'll have the uh, the cart over here. Uh, come and grab some food. There's extra around. That. Thank you, Walter. Thank you so much, Walter. Yeah. 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 Walter. Walter is to be right. protected in New Austin. Yep. If anyone hurts them, that's $5,000 on their head. Boom, there you go, you right there. $5,000. Holy shit, $5,000. You know how many dicks you have to no, suck no, for $5,000? Wait, what? Or no. <laughs> At least 20. Um, so, you know. <laughs> what was he going to say, Warren? Oh, I was just going to say, um, in the next week or two, y'all uh, y'all watch out for some posters. I'm, I'm looking to... Uh, Teach people how to fight out here for a fee, of course. There you go. He's a great teacher. Oh, I can, I can vouch. He knocked me down Yay. 16 times the other day. will also beat the shit out of you while you do it. Is there any events anyone wants to advertise? Anything coming up? Oh, no wants to open up. Not yet. Right, well, <laughs> anyone wants to partake in that? We're going to have a. Good. Oh, okay. yeah, actually, yeah, that sounds good. We do have an event. Oh, we will we be know? hosting a Mexican fiesta in Thieves oh, Landing. Oh, oh, oh. 
It's in a week. Ah, in a week. Oh, we be put everywhere. Hey, got the yeah. Mexican fiesta. Yes. Out of here, folks. Advertise that out on you, Austin. Wait, wait. Can I add to one? Can I add to that event there, Coyote? How about we, at the end of the night, we play Catch the Coyote? How about that? Yeah. Yeah? E Catch the Coyote. Yeah. Basically, three people dress up like animals. <laughs> Three people dress up like animals. They run into the field. Everybody gets their lasso and chases them. Whoever gets them wins the prize. There you go. Catch the coyote. Yeah. Very nice. Well, we we like the tabernacle the... said, it's very nice. Yeah. We'll be working on a fighting you... event. Yeah. Not sure when it's going to happen, but I still need to work on it. All right. All right, so to summarize, if law comes out <laughs> to us and looking to pluck somebody up, just hold your gun in your hand. Further than that, y'all on your own. Somebody gets plucked up from New Austin. It's one of your own people and you're alone. Go to Armadillo. If you can get anyone, bust them out. Agreed. Kind of just would be back there as well. We do find a doctor, we need to make sure they're safe. Someone want to be a doctor here, maybe you can get training. Yeah, I got offered medical training, but I'm afraid it was before I <laughs> you know, jumped in the water with madness. I don't think Miss Moss is going to train me anymore, considering I'm verbally assaulted the husband quite uh, a lot. Right. Amen. Summarize a little bit further. We got the bounty board. Yeah, uh, helping out Mr. Graves and other businesses. Two events coming up. All right. Is there anything else we should discuss before I end this meeting? Dad, oh. just, just wait, I've got you all here. Who owns Armadillo Saloon? It's Sags. 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 Oh, right, right. I just haven't seen anybody there. Yeah, you don't want to hire me. <laughs> um, all right. No, I was, do have a talk with her. Yeah, we need to replenish that saloon. The people that couldn't attend, make sure they're all caught up about this meeting. We shall trust, but not marshals. I mean, you can tell a marshal too. I don't really care. That's right, Mr. Wright. Truthfully, it'd probably be better if marshals heard about this. They're there. Like a, a hushed agreement. All right. I'll find out either way. The next time we have this meeting will be in April 11th. Same time, same place. All right. All Sounds right. good to me. All right, folks, y'all take care. Hopefully I'll still be alive by next month. We'll break yeah. your outfit. Damn right. Oh, actually, hold on. Your horses are all uh, downhill, by the way. Oh, I'm going with you, my you want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah I just want to give you a hug, man. Come here now. What the hell? Go on, man. Well, you know I'm just pulling your leg stuff. now. I can't wait I to go to the fiesta. Beat him up. Right now? Wait, beat me up? Yeah. What, because I hugged you? Come on now. He's my bodyguard. All right, well, I was just... What? I was you just showing... Talk to Coyote. You gotta get through me. Oh, all right. Look, I don't want to hurt you, Miss. You look very And there's tough. a lot of them to get through. All right, that's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay, I'm just trying to be... It's nice to meet you, mister. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. What the... Okay, look, I li look. you look tough. I don't... Back up! Okay, I'm going to back up now, all right? Back up! Oh. I don't want to hurt you, Okay, so. I'm backing up. Coyote, what is this now? Come on now. Are we... I thought we... You're Look, he's gonna think he's gonna think we have a real problem. Huh? Flaps. You look like a goddamn fish. He needs to do some push-ups. What it is? That's okay. all it is. Okay, guys, I'm putting my clothes back on. <laughs> all right, well, I'll talk to you guys. Coyote, it's good to see you again now. See you as good as you as well, compadre. All right. What the fuck's my horse, man? What the hell is my horse? 